Hello friends, in this video we will be oxidizing benzaldehyde to benzoic acid using potassium permanganate as the catalyst. This video is just for academic purposes only as benzoic acid can be very efficiently synthesized from toluene which is readily available. And these are the materials required for this synthesis. We begin by transferring the pre-weight 24 grams of potassium permanganate into the 250 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask. Potassium permanganate will be the catalyst for our reaction. After transferring, we then add 200 milliliters of distilled water into it to make a solution of it. Shake the flask vigorously to dissolve the potassium permanganate in it. This will give a purple colored solution. Next we take the pre-weighed 20 grams of sodium carbonate in a 250 milliliter beaker and add 200 milliliters of water into it. Then we mix it well with the help of a glass stirring rod to make a solution of it. We now take a 500 milliliter round bottom flask and add 20 grams of pre-weighed benzaldehyde into it. Now we add the sodium carbonate solution into the benzaldehyde. Now we start to heat the flask. I am using a Bunsen burner flame to heat the flask. When the mixture is about to boil, fix the reflex condenser on the mouth of the round bottom flask. And we reflex the mixture for about 15 to 20 minutes. This is the whole setup of the reflex mechanism. I have fixed the reflex condenser and attached the water inlet and outlet. You can see that the solution has started to reflex. After 2 to 3 minutes of reflexing, Start adding the potassium permanganate from above the reflex condenser slowly. You can see immediately a color change from pink to a brown color. What's happening here is benzaldehyde is getting oxidized. The catalyst being potassium permanganate in alkaline medium. Sodium carbonate was added to provide the alkaline medium. When benzaldehyde gets oxidized, it becomes benzoic acid. You know, aldehydes oxidize to form carboxylic acid. Here, potassium permanganate gets reduced to form manganese dioxide, which is that brown colored suspension. Keep adding the potassium permanganate solution in small lots. We want whole of benzaldehyde to oxidize and form benzoic acid and some excess of potassium permanganate should remain in the solution so that we can confirm that the reaction is complete. After that, we allow it to cool and start filtering the solution. I am using a gravity filtration method here because I do not have the vacuum filtration setup. If you have that, use it because it will be much faster. Filtration removes the manganese dioxide and other suspended particles. Here filtration turned out slow so that I had to take another Erlenmeyer flask to set up filtration. After filtering, we will decolorize the solution by adding potassium metabisulfite. I had made a saturated solution of the metabisulfite and I add it into the mixture and shake well. You can see that it is slowly getting decolorized on adding the metabisulfite and on shaking it. Now I will do the same with the other flask. Next we need to precipitate out the benzoic acid. For that I am adding 3 molar hydrochloric acid. I have taken about 200 milliliters of 3 molar hydrochloric acid. On adding the acid you can see a white creamy precipitate being formed. This is the crude benzoic acid separating out as it is insoluble in cold water or sparingly soluble in the room temperature. 
the precipitate benzoic acid formed was too much in volume that two of my 500 ml flask couldn't afford so i had to take them in various vessels after that i washed the precipitate the couple of number of times with cold distilled water After the washing step we filter the precipitate and again we washed the precipitate a couple of number of times with cold distilled water And finally this is the crude precipitate of benzoic acid that I collected Now we need to purify it The purification step starts by transferring the benzoic acid into hot boiling water. Benzoic acid is very well soluble in hot water. I only added a very little benzoic acid in the round bottom flask and I will let it sit to room temperature so that it can cool slowly. This was just to demonstrate the crystalline arrangement of benzoic acid. The rest of the benzoic acid was all together dumped and dissolved in 250 ml of hot boiling water and immediately cooled to crystallize out as you can see in this beaker. This is the clip showing the needle shaped crystals of benzoic acid formed on slowly cooling the benzoic acid solution which we had made in the round bottom flask. This is the final yield of benzoic acid which weighed to around 17 grams that is about 85 percentage yield. And this is that needle shaped crystals which we obtained in the round bottom flask. The product was then stored in a tight bottle and labeled. I would like to take this opportunity to thank my Patreon supporters who have financially supported me so that I could get the materials required for doing all these experiments including this one. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you loved the contents of this video, do subscribe to my channel and click on the bell button so that you will get notified about my new videos.